Now Julie is a medical intuitive and she has had this gift for the last 35 years at least that she's acknowledged it but potentially probably even longer. She has an, a beautiful ability of being able to read your body and to identify blockages and using templates and um, practices to help clear those blockages to restore your energy and bring you back to vitality and health with her. I love her work. I love the woman that she is. I love the knowledge that she shares. She's about to give you a beautiful presentation today. If you get an opportunity to get some one-on-one -on -one time with her, I highly recommend it. So here is, um, with all my heart, I welcome you, Julie Lewin. I am so thrilled to be invited to be the special guest here today. I've come all the way down from Warwick in Queensland and it's just an honour to be able to connect with the women of the Mornington Peninsula and, and Melbourne. I come here regularly. Is there anyone in the room who hasn't heard of me before? There are, awesome. So I'm a medical intuitive. I've been doing this work for 35 years. It started after a psychic reading. And when my friend said, you're having this reading, that was like telling me I had a date with the devil because I don't, I didn't do that. I, I grew up going to church and Sunday school and it was just not in my realm. And she convinced me, I've got a little tear. She convinced me to go and it changed my life phenomenally. I was married, I had a seven month old baby, I was thinking about leaving my husband and she said I wasn't listening to her. So I went for the reading and he said, right, if you keep going the way you are, your marriage will end, you will remarry quickly, that marriage will end, you'll have very few happy moments in your life, you'll be very ill in your 30s and 40s and die at 53. So that's a half an hour condensed. So. <laughs> But he said, but you have a nun and a monk beside you and you have an alternate destiny. He said, if you choose that destiny, your marriage will survive. You will overcome the illnesses in your 30s and 40s. You will have many happy moments in your life. You will live into your 90s and you'll be a great benefit to the world. So in my 25 year old wisdom, I decided I'd figure out how to see inside of people's bodies because that's what he said I could do. Now back in 1984, there were no medical intuitives so I didn't there was no one that I could go and ask so I, I had to ask upstairs and I said if you want me to do this you show me how I'm actually going to tell you how that's turned out I've overcome the illnesses in my 30s and 40s I had six major surgeries and a relapse of cancer and I healed myself of that cancer in 2012 and I'll tell you how I got that cancer back stress I didn't even understand eight years ago the impact of stress on the body. So I'm going to teach you a little technique that's going to clear the stress out of your body. Do you want to know that? Yes. Yeah. I am happy every single day, regardless of what's going on. I am helping people all around the world and I figured out that I didn't have to do it all on my own. So I saw a pebble, not a pebble, a drop in a still pond and there were circles, you know, the rings and I had this aha moment, I thought, I just have to work with that first ring and teach those people to work with their first ring, to teach those people to work with the, their first ring. And we can spread the self-healing wisdom around the world. So that was my, that's my big vision. My husband and I have been married 38 years. We were going to divorce four times, but I'm going to tell you a secret. Every time we made that decision, I said, are we, are we clear on this? And we'd go, yes. And then I'd say, okay, we wait eight weeks. And then if we're still clear that we'll get divorced in eight weeks, then we'll do the next step. And the reason I did that was I had such bad PMT, I had to write in my diary, do not make any major decisions this week. So I wanted to go through two cycles of that. And that's why I said eight weeks. We're still married, so eight weeks later, we, I didn't feel like that. So that was my journey for that. What I wanted to share with you today was I've discovered that stress is the number one thing that causes the 
ill health in our bodies, yeah? And the World Health Organization has actually validated that. So you can Google that and they will say stress is the number one thing. So I want to give you a little technique that helps you clear stress out of your body in minutes. And you can do it at any time, any place, and nobody knows what you're doing. But you can just release. The other thing that I've discovered is we do actually need to protect our energy. So I'm a big advocate of protecting our energy, but we also need to clear our energy. So they're the three probably most important things that I do, is I teach people how to clear, how to protect, and how to release. And then anything after that is an absolute bonus, right? What if I teach you how to release the stress out of your body right now? I don't need to know what number out of 10 you are, but you self-assess and if you're above five and I had some ladies here I taught a different technique and they're all very chilled so you don't need to put yourself back into stress ladies but for the rest of you this is a pretty amazing technique and I've had people come up to me 10 years later and they say oh, I saw you at that talk I still do that every week so this is a lifetime process that I'm teaching you and don't undervalue it because it's only going to take a few minutes. Is there anyone in the room who can't visualize? Awesome. So this is a little visualizing technique and what I do with people is I teach them how to get into their metaphysical or holographic realm. And how we do that is we take some deep breaths from down here, yes, legs uncrossed, and we're going to breathe, suck our abdomen in on the in-breath, yeah? and out on the out breath. It's the opposite to what we normally do and I'll tell you why we're doing that because it will push the diaphragm up and take our air up to the top of our lungs and that's the bridge into our holographical metaphysical realm. I'll guide you now. Take a deep breath in. Hold it and gently release all the way out, out, out. Take another deep breath in, suck it in, hold it, and gently release all the way out, out, out. And on this breath, if you haven't got your eyes closed, just close your eyes and gently release all the way out, out, out. And breathing normally now, I want you to imagine that you are a seagull and you're flying over the ocean. There's no land in sight. There's just the water below and the sky above. And just take note of what your water looks like. There's no right or wrong. Just take note of your water. Is it rough? Is it smooth? Are there white caps? Is there a ripple? Whatever it has, Use your mind and make it smooth as a lagoon, like there's not even a ripple. I'll just give you a moment to do that. Just make your water smooth. And feel your body drop. And if it's not smooth, you can do it in an instant. Your water is now smooth. Park that vision and I now want you to imagine a garden bed of gerberas. Now if you don't know what a gerber is, it's a long stem with a beautiful fine petaled flower on top. Observe your gerberas. What do they look like? Are they all up straight and tall or there's some leaning over? Are there some broken? Whatever state your garden bed of gerberas, I now want you to make them all stand up straight and tall. If you need to stake them up, you can stake them up and the, the flower head is facing the midday sun as if the sun is an enormous magnet and it's drawing those flowers up tall and straight. I'll give you a moment to do that.
If they're not all up tall and straight, we'll do it right now. I want you to park that vision and go back to being the seagull and check in on your water. Is it still smooth? Smooth as glass. And if it isn't, make it smooth as glass. smooth as glass. Now I want you to take a deep breath in and gently release and come all the way back into the room and into your bodies and open your eyes when you are ready. And if you feel a bit lightheaded just put your hand on top of your head and that will ground you all the way back into your body. Now has your level of stress dropped? Is there anyone in the room and it didn't drop? I think we have success. Now that little tip, that little technique, and my daughter even does it when she's driving. Yeah. yeah? Because sometimes traffic can get a bit like that. So she just goes, oh my, my water's smooth, my gerbers are tall and straight and she recalibrates. Now, why do I use water and gerberas? Scientists have proven we have horizontal energy and we have vertical energy. But if I stood here and said, okay, just balance your horizontal energy and fix your vertical energy, <laughs> you would go, but I don't know how to do that, yeah? So I use visualization that's symbolic to actually do a different thing in your body. And because I use a visualization, I don't tell you what I'm doing, we bypass the monkey mind. That's the key to doing self-healing through visualization, is to use symbolism to follow the movie that can appear in your mind. And so that's how I've created this healing modality, Arakira is through following the vision and if you've gone over the bridge into into the holographic realm or the metaphysical realm there's no rules over here so you can do whatever you want you're not bound by gravity you're not bound by oh i can't stick something in there because it's solid because it's holographic we can get inside we can do things that have an impact on us I had a lady come on retreat. I run little 24-hour, uh, 48-hour retreats and she, has anyone seen somebody with arthritis that their, their hand, fingers are going over and they can't go like this? They can't grip. She couldn't hold the steering wheel. She couldn't wash up, couldn't use the cutlery. She couldn't hold a coffee cup. So her husband bought her under the guise of it was him that I was going to work with. So that's how he got her to come and see me. Bless him. And I, I held her hands for 10 hours. Wow. But while I was holding her hands, I talked about the spiritual things that are going on. I talked about the emotional things that are going on. I talked about what was going on in her head. Yeah, mental, emotional, spiritual. And I held her physical hands. Guess what happened after 10 hours? Her hands look like this. Now that feels like a miracle, but that's not the miracle to me. Because two years on, her hands are still like this. Oh, cool. That's the miracle, right? And I said to her, man, that's so cool. How did you do that? She said, Julie, I did what you told me to do. I did my homework every day. And she just checked her body. And so what she did was she recalibrated herself every day. So I teach that. And then I've got a, a lady in America. So can this work be done by distance? So she was in my house and that was pretty amazing. The lady in America, I can't be physically in America. And so she had a bone marrow transplant that was impacting her. So her skin was really impacted and it just was blistering and I won't go into the details, but I've got some skin healing techniques. So I would do that from a distance and I gave it to her to do, but she said, Julie, could you do it? So I said, sure. But she did it to her ability and I did it to my ability. And the, the mum writes to me and she says, oh my God, Julie, 
she is going so well and so what we did was we built new skin from the inside out so anything to do with the skin you can heal and then she said but one of the things is the gut it affects the lining of the gut and I said oh we'll just do a lining of the gut thing so she's now able to eat she's sleeping she was blown up with fluid and I said okay well we can release fluid so there's all different techniques so if somebody tells me something that's wrong I go okay so what's the movie what do I need to do and because of those steps I tune in and we can remedy the holographic body and there's a tangible impact in the physical body so that's what I've been doing for 35 years and so I've kind of got really good at it but there's only me and so I'm now sharing with others who are interested in healing or self-healing or having something that they can share with their community or clients that is fast and has a big impact that's lasting. So I've been running retreats for eight years, one-on-one, -on -one, like that lady with the arthritis. And I felt really guilty that I wasn't sharing this work with more people. And so I met the gorgeous Sandra and I went, oh, I've found someone who can help me. So what I've done is I've created a beautiful retreat in this area where we're going to have a deep experience of the, the top 12 techniques that I've developed. And so that's what I've got coming up and I would love to invite you all forward. If that is something that you would like to have a chat with me about and just so that you have an experience of chatting with me and feeling my energy, because I don't, um, I don't want to convince anyone that they have to come and do something. I want them to be attracted to me and feel the, the, the pull of, oh my God, what she's got, what she's doing. That's what I want.